Hello everyone, we will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and in the previous videos we started with the creation of a report and in which wherever possible we will use the SAP ABAP new syntax. We took the requirement and in the previous video we have written the three open SQL query by using the new features of open SQL. Now, before I will go for loop and we will go for table expressions to merge the data, I will go for one point here. Before going for that point, firstly, I need to go to debugging to understand that point. Suppose I will put a breakpoint here. I will just run this program. Suppose I am giving the date. I will go for execute. And I will go for text of three most preferable text of. Now, based upon the input, it will fetch data from VBAK table and data will come into this internal table. You can see as of now, LTVBAK has zero records. Now I am executing this query and you can see we have seven records into this internal table. All seven are unique sales order number because VBELN is the primary key of VBAK table. Now this if condition is true. I am doing F6. Now Whatever is in first internal table VBELN, whatever is in first internal table VBELN, it will go to VBELN column of VBAP table. It will fetch that data of these five columns and data will come into this internal table. Currently, we have zero records. Now, I am doing F6. Now you can see we have eight records into this internal table. Now just see this eight records. Do you have unique matinar or do you have duplicate matinar? We have duplicate matinar also. Suppose for order number 71 also, we have 42 matinar. For order number 72 also, we have oh, this 42 matinar. For order number 75 also, we have 42 matinar. For order number 76, we have also 42 matina. For 73 order number, we have also 42 matina. Just see here how many we use, how many unique matina are there. 492, 134, and 42. Only three unique matina. But what the query we have written? We are fetching data from MAKT table based upon LTVBAP matinar. What is LTVBAP matinar? These eight, these eight matinar will go to which particular table? They will go to matinar column of MAKT table. Anyways, we will get the unique matinar. But why, why unnecessary we should give the extra load to the system? Why we should give the eight entries as a input? We should only give the entry as three matina because they are unique matina. Suppose if as of now I will execute this query, system will simply simply bring only three matina. Suppose if I will run again, system will give the three matina. But based upon eight, why why we are giving eight entries? Because we all know that we should give only three because that will improve the performance. Suppose if I will put a breakpoint here. Now you can see LTMAKT zero records. If I will do F6, okay, I'll just put a right statement so that I can show you. This is straight because control will come here and I will be able to show your data into this internal table. I will run this program. I will give the input. 
because these eight entries will go to MAKT table, it will fetch the data. Why unnecessary? We should give the input. I, I will put a breakpoint here. Now I will put a breakpoint here. Now I'm executing the query. You can see in LT MAKT, ultimately we are getting three records only for these three matina. But why, why we, should, we are giving eight as a eight entries as a input because we are writing for all entries in into this internal table where matina we are passing this as a input. So rather than eight, we should only only pass the unique matina. So how I will do this? It will improve the performance. We need to take care for all these points. So what I will do here, now here itself. Now, what I will do, I will simply move the data of LT underscore VBAP to a temporary internal table. I will go for inline data declaration. Suppose I am saying LT underscore TAM underscore VBAP. And equal to, I am writing LT underscore VBAP. So I'm just moving the data of this internal table to this internal table. And we use the inline data declaration. Now, what I will do, I will simply write sort. LT underscore TAMP underscore VBAP by Matina. Why I'm going for sorting? So that all 42 will be together. All 31, 34 will be together all 492 will be together. Now, but I will write, delete, adjacent duplicates from LT underscore TAM underscore VBAP and we are comparing what Matena. So what it will do? It will delete the duplicates from this internal table by comparing the Matena and we will get the unique Matena. Now, rather than writing for all entries in LT underscore VBAP, now here I will write LT underscore TAM underscore VBAP. And here I will write LT underscore TAM underscore VBAP. I'll just go for syntax check. I will go for activation. Now I will show you in the debugging mode so that we all can understand how this logic is but I will put a breakpoint here in this query itself because I want to show you this query now. I will run this program. I will give the in. And performance is one of the most important factor. And in this case, we should use, we just only use the inline data declaration as a part of new syntax. These all are your previously already, already available syntaxes. I will do F8. Now I am on to 29 number line. This is your internal table eight records. Now I'm passing it to a new internal table. Now you can see this new internal table also has eight records. Now we are going for sorting. Why I'm going for sorting? So that all 42 will be together. All 134 will be together. All 492 will be together. So I'm just doing the sorting. Now you can see after sorting, all 42 together all 134 together, all 492 together. Now this statement will delete the adjacent duplicates. And you can see we have three unique records into this internal table, three unique matina. And yes, ultimately we want this only now, but the logic we have written for all entries in into this internal table and this internal table matina will act as a input for matenar of this particular table MAKT. 
and we are going for three records only and it is ultimately improving the performance. It will improve the performance a lot in the real projects. So whenever you think you have duplicate data, but you are going only getting the unique records after that. So just go for this kind of approach. Now you can see if I will do F6 into this internal table, we have three records. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I firstly explained in the debugging mode that whatever the material numbers we are getting into this internal table, those are not, I'll say distinct. Those are duplicates because, because sales order, because a material can be in one sales order, if same material number can be in another sales order, just go for simple example. Suppose I'm buying soap from the market. So I have a sales order. Another person also can buy the soap from the market. So material is same, soap is same, but two orders are different. Now, suppose if in the previous case, what is happening? We are passing that LTVBAP and as an input to this particular MAKT table, LTVBAP maintenance. Suppose just think if I have 300 or 400 records, but out of them only 10 are unique. Why, why we should give 300 or 400 as an input to MAKT table? So what we did at that point of time, I just moved the data to temporary internal table. I sorted, we deleted the adjacent duplicates comparing matinar and we are fetching data based upon that particular temporary internal table matinar. In the next video, we will simply merge the data of these three internal table into one internal table and then we will go for use of table expressions, value operator, we will go for all these things. So that's it in this video. Thank you.